What's going on there, YouTube? Vaping with Twisted 420 has returned. And today, this isn't really a review. This is more of a show and tell. I've had my custom V3Tronics flip sitting here for a while, and there's been a few accessories as of late to make it better. So that's what we're here to look at. Let's take a look at my custom matte finish V3Tronics flip, why don't we? Hell yeah, we are back. We are back once again, people. And today, we're gonna talk about something near and dear to my heart. It's my custom V3 Tronics Flip. Now, the Flip was one of the first mechanical mods that actually inspired me. I was like, man, that thing is worth the money. The Flip normally sells for 250 bucks, and I was about to save my money up and get this motherfucker. I love a simple mod, but I can also enjoy a complex mod, and all the engraving work that went into this beauty is just fan-fucking-tastic. Well, I was about to start saving up my money, and V3Tronics decided to uh, surprise me with my own custom engraved flip, and I appreciate that shit immensely. There's plenty of other reviewers out there with way more subscribers, way more going on, some of them that don't review clones whatsoever, but they decided, in the kindness of their heart, shout out to Tim, they decided to hook me up with, with the flip with my name engraved on it in a custom matte finish. Man, I, I am more than grateful to V3Tronics. Uh, big shout out to those guys, much love, much love. Um, I'm gonna be watching for everything those guys put out because I can see they go the extra mile and that's uh, the same can be said about this flip. Uh, they got some more stuff coming out pretty soon. The 26650 mod, the Takana. I think I'm gonna be getting my hands on that as well. Uh, there's been a lot of controversy lately because V3Tronics have, they have uh, the V3 logo and everything patented here in America. And uh, even though they can't do anything about the China modders, the ones that are cloning them, I think H Cigar was one of the first ones. Sig Green and H Cigar was the first ones to try to clone this. I saw the clones, they didn't look, <laughs> they weren't looking too good. But anyway, people have been trying to do group buys. People have been posting the clone on eBay and stuff. And V3 Tronics has went after them and like, hey man, you need to take that down or we'll, we'll basically sue your bitch ass. It's time to lawyer up. <laughs> and a lot of people have been hating on them about it. They don't like the way they're handling it and all that. I gotta say, I don't give a shit about all that. Those dudes got a product out. They're trying to protect their investment. More power to them, I say, you know what I mean? And um, I just think it's really cool that they decided to, uh, as some people would call me, a low life piece of shit clone reviewer. I'm, I'm glad that they decided to send me their lovely device and I really, really do appreciate it. And uh, this video is showing my appreciation. We'll go up close in a minute, take some looks at some stuffs, and uh, we'll also check out some new parts that they created. They got a new 510 connection that uh, is supposed to help with the voltage drop, especially for people who are sub owning. I'll show you that compared to the original. I'll show you the battery spacer that you can put in here, which allows you to show the full engraving. That's pretty sweet. I should've cleaned this bitch up a little bit. I got a little bit of dirt off in my name on the Twisted 420. I'm not tripping though. But uh, yeah, folks, like I said, really, really, really appreciate what they did for me. Can't stress that enough. And uh, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna talk about my flip today, all right? So uh, let me have a talk real quick. I got the Zenith V2 sitting on here at the moment. Lovely, lovely. Doing great, doing great at about 0.3 with the new contacts and the battery spacer in there. Uh, but yeah, without saying too much else, let's dive up and do a little bit of show and tell, why don't we? Let's take a look at my flip. And, and folks, don't think that I'm on here bragging or anything. I'm just showing my appreciation to a company to, did I say, I didn't even finish the word appreciation just then. I'm just showing my appreciation to a company that showed me some love when they didn't have to, okay? Uh, so major props to that. Oh yeah, repping my Lucky Ruckus Vape shirt on. They are also a uh, verified dealer for V3Tronics in their flip. So shout out to Lucky Ruckus. I see you, Frank. I'm gonna be seeing you guys later on this month for that vape meet. It's gonna be a good time. But uh, I'm rambling again. Let's dive up close. 
All right, folks, and here we are up close with the flip. Uh, I'll show you a little pouch that they throw in, a little V3 pouch, a little belt clip action. Keep your flip in there. Let's say you're on a big job site, you're doing some construction. Chunk that bad boy in your belt holster. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Also, this is what's taped on my wall back there. This is my certificate of authenticity. They got some holograms and shit going with American flag right there. America! God bless the old USA. Yeah, it just tells you made in USA and everything. And on the back, it shows you uh, instructions on how to use your flip, how to adjust it, do all that good stuff. Pretty neat, pretty neat. But yep, that's what sits on my wall. But yeah, there's a, here's my flip. Let's go manual focus on this baby. What's really cool about this flip, mine was one of the first ones to have the satin finish, uh, which is an option that they have for everybody now. But initially, it wasn't an option. And this is kind of a, this is kind of the VIP treatment. Instead of everything being polished in here, it's reversed. The parts that were kind of matte are uh, polished, and all the polished parts are matte. And I think it looks absolutely fucking stunning. As you, you can see my battery in there, I'm using one of those LG 35 amps at the moment. But uh, yeah, this is truly, truly a beautiful mod. And I know you guys have seen it in some videos and stuff lately, but you haven't seen it up close and personal. Right here on the back, as you can see, Twisted 420. I didn't even know if there was enough room on this tube to fit my whole name, but damn it, there she is. Much love for that. That is fucking awesome. I'll never get rid of this thing. This is too sweet. Uh, like I said, this isn't a review. This is just kind of a, a show and tell and an overlook. I got serial number 520. Uh, love the, let's just talk about some of the things I love about the flip. I love the look of it. I love the switch. It's got a ball bearing in there. All 24 karat hard D gold plated contacts. Uh, locked, unlocked, locked, unlocked. Love the switch. Absolutely love the switch so simple and it works so well um now let me pop this addy off of here and uh damn it, if i can get it off <laughs> and oh, son of a bitch and i'll show you guys the new contacts i got the old one sitting here um and this is the new one okay the old one uh the old one has a spring in it and uh that that allowed your 510 to kind of kind of float if you will had a spring loaded 510 but there is a spring off in this contact and uh, i reckon that's what was causing the voltage drop these guys wanted a good bit of flexibility here and i understand that but it had a slight cost with this uh with this old contact that spring right there was part of the problem um so what they did was for people who love their sub ohm they uh they created a new contact and this is she let me pop her out real quick and I think you can order this uh, contact on their site. I'll, I'll check in a little bit. We'll uh, find links. But uh, the main difference here, this uh, this new contact isn't spring, isn't springed. It's uh, it's adjustable. It's just it's, it's screws. It's a two part contact that I'm sure a lot of people are uh, pretty familiar with. But it's all still hard D gold plated. Um, so yeah, what you'll do is. Let me pop this back in top of the flower cap. Let's say you screw this baby. Oh, son of a bitch. All right. <laughs> Everything went everywhere. Um, I got juice all over my hands. It's a bad habit. Okay, but let's say you got your contact, right? We'll screw all this in. Here's what you'll do. You'll back this bigger fella out. Grab your Addy. Screw it in. Take this guy. Tighten it back up, and now you got a tight 510 connection. Then to adjust for battery rattle, you just back that little guy out appropriately. And I will say that I noticed a major difference from switching them out as far as uh, sub omen. Uh, it 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 already, in my opinion, it already it hit hard, but then uh, <laughs> it hits just that much harder now. It does a lot better for your sub ohm applications with this solid uh, these solid contacts. There's no spring involved. It's just all contact. Which uh, I like this better, to be honest with you. It might have been a little overkill to have adjustments and the spring. And um, yeah, I think this is good. I think this is very, very good. Now, normally, folks, your flip, oh, son of a bitch, <laughs> your flip would, uh, in 18650 mode, this is what it would look like. It's got the battery venting covered up and it covers up part of the engraving, as you can see. It takes out the T and W. 
what they got here is a battery spacer. Usually when this bitch is tall and you can see the full engraving, that's for 18650 plus a kick. And what you got, you got the battery in there upside down is what I got. What you got is a whole bunch of room left in there. So you're like, damn it, I want to show off my engraving. Bam, battery spacer. Pop that bitch in like so. And then uh, just put everything back together. So bam, there you go, battery spacer. And it fires off just fine. I accidentally screwed up this airflow control ring at some point a minute ago. There we go. Oh, no, nope, son of a bitch. This fucking Zenith is so fidgety. That's okay, we'll talk about that later. But yeah, the thing's working great, folks. It uh, It's putting out like a champ now, and it always did in my opinion. But uh, yeah, getting down quite nicely. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys those couple of new little options, uh, the new 510 connection and uh, the battery spacer. And yes, that is my custom flip right there. I love it, it looks great. It looks great. I'm never getting rid of it. it it's, uh, I like it a lot, okay? <laughs> there, I said, I know some people have heard complaints. Oh, that thing's too busy. They got way too much going on. But for me, I absolutely fucking love it. But uh, yeah, let's back out, talk on it, and vape on it. Just want to show you guys a couple little things. A couple little things. All right, folks, and we are back. We are back once again. Um, yeah, like I said, folks, if nothing else, this video is just to show a few of the enhancements that V3Tronics has come out with, and if nothing else, to show my appreciation, because I really do appreciate it. They didn't have to do this, you know what I mean? They didn't have to do it, and uh, that goes a long way in my book. That's uh, that's much love. It's much love right there, folks. Hell, at the time, I think I only had, like, what, maybe 10,000 subscribers? They could have been like, man, fuck that dude, but no, they didn't. They showed love. And as you can see, this thing is putting out nicely. That new contact was a great idea. I hope they carry that forward with the, uh, with some of the, the next designs and some of the new stuff they got coming up. Like I said, really good company. Stand up guys, their customer service is great. I've heard that from everybody. Um, like I said, some people are bitching because they're trying to protect their investment. I'm not even mad at them. You know, I love clones and real deals all alike. And I just don't, like I said, I saw pictures of the clone of this thing and they just, uh, they were not able to nail it. There's way too much CNC uh, machining that went into this fellow, but you know, it's whatever. I know there's a lot of people that are like, fuck that shit. It looks cool, but I'm not paying 250 bucks for one. Uh, they're hoping that the clone comes out nice, but folks, I just don't see it. I just don't see the clone being a true one-to-one, -one. even though, you know, it still be, give people kind of a, you know, kind of the idea of a flip, you know, you can get it at a reasonable price, you know, it's whatever. Um, but yeah, all in all, really, I, 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 love, love, I love this thing. I really do. <laughs> I absolutely love my flip. Uh, it, I use it almost every day and, uh, it makes me happy, all right? I might not own a shit ton of Authentics, but I own the one that counts. <laughs> That's the way I look at it. And, uh, and the bitch hits hard. Like I said, Mike Tyson on PCP all over again right here. But yeah, folks, uh, that's really all I got to show you. I just wanted to show you show you my flip. So thanks for looking at my flip, folks. I really do appreciate it. It's, uh, it means a lot to me. And like I said, that certificate will be staying on the wall uh, for as long as I have this vape room of sorts whatever you call this thing fuck it anyway that's what i got for you folks this is not i didn't want to keep you too long just telling you guys about my flip all right um so yeah thank you for watching i really do appreciate it uh remember to keep on vaping and most importantly you stay sexy youtube i am out